Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. What's going by back with another video, man? So let me show you all the tag before I go in the house. Good, good look at my rice mobile, as everybody refers to it. Well, not really, I just made that up, but a lot of people say my car is rice. Probably is, got a little rice to it. Got some new parts in. I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute, but I just wanna make sure I get, I have to get the car on film today, you know? I get some new headlights, look at this. That's just terrible. That's just terrible. Look at all these cracks in it. My headlights are done. Be right here. I don't know if you guys see that. See the housing in there, it's peeling. Yeah, that's just terrible. <laughs> it's got Neo Chrome though. Look at that. Dang. Garbage. Coming right off. So if you get Neo Chrome, it does do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess after a period of time, it just peels off. They can just see. Sorry, I was in, in the camera. with this? eBay special right there. I don't know what that kind of shit that is. That's just ugly. It's all painted from the paint shop too. They paint all over my shit. So yeah, some of my new chrome parts just coming apart. But I'm not gonna change the color. I already made too big of a commitment to change the color now. So I got a lot of new parts in, I got some more coming. I'm gonna show you guys again, just in case you guys are new to the channel, I'll show you what I'm working with right now. So about a few months ago, I don't know how long ago, but sometime this year, I had another integra and I went by two take Fred for just a little bit of time. But yeah, I had two integras, one was a USDM and the other one was a JDM front that you see out there. Um, I repeat some other one because I use a lot of parts to get my blue one running. The reason I got rid of that car is because I got the Camaro and I didn't have no more parking spots. So I don't have enough now, but you know, I'll make it work with three. But four? Nah, that ain't gonna work. This is the transmission right here that came out of my blue Integra. It got stuck in a uh, second gear. Never tried to fix it. Don't know if it's fixable. Don't know if it's worth fixing. Yeah, that's how that goes. Let me know if it's fixable for a reasonable price. If not, then we'll probably just junk it. Maybe somebody needs some gears. I'll take the gears out. I don't know. I'll figure out something. But anyway. It's my turbo setup, intercooler, AFI intercooler. I got spiders. That's how long this has been sitting here. I got spiders. Ram more header, Garrett turbo. Well, this is a 50 mil? I don't know. So, yeah, we got everything up here that we need. I don't need I'm gonna get new hoses, of course. Cause I'll make sure like all my hoses are good. I mean, this hose looks okay, but I'm getting all new parts. I'll make sure at least all my hoses are good. I think I'm gonna just leave these. I think these are fine as is. This is gonna be the engine I'm gonna use, or not the engine, but the block that I'm gonna use for my uh, setup. I'm going to LS VTEC. So B18 block, B16 head. It's a B18 B block, B16 A head. Still got everything on there. I'm actually gonna start disassembling this. But yeah, that's the plan for the Integra. Triple SV10, I just think, thought that I'd show you guys this while I was right here, so you guys know what's going on with the car. But yeah, I'm not going uh, Triple V20 v Tech anymore. Uh, I want to make sure if I was putting all that money into my car, into the build, especially because you guys know, if you've been here a while, you know when it comes to my car, I was cheaping out like, ooh, so hard, I was cheaping. Now that I'm actually doing a serious build, I'm actually getting quality parts. So a lot of people are like, oh, where you get cheap parts? Where you get cheap that? Because it didn't matter, it was just all for looks. Oh yeah, about that lug nut, I actually got some more. I got spare ones. So I know you guys see me pulling that stuff, so don't worry, <laughs> I got a spare. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I did get, so some new parts that I got in the mail. So there we go, got some stuff, got a big box. If you're watching this right now, comment below what you think is in this box, this long one. And in this box, you guys probably already know it's in the Skunk 2 box. Box is, but you know, leave a comment. But yeah, let's go ahead and open it. Sorry about my room, I know it's dirty, I'm at cleaning right now, but I just wanted to give you guys a video before I actually got cleaning. Um, i actually show you guys this, cause I just picked this up from my homie Randall. It's a AEM fuel rail, if you can't tell. Braided line, got the gauge, and it has a um, fuel regulator, so. Yeah, that's gonna be what that's for. And I'm not gonna be using stock, um, I don't ever have stock injectors. I think I have like, I have uh, 380 injectors, 380, uh, 380cc, I believe. And I'm gonna actually get 1000cc injectors. I'm gonna get um, 
ID injectors. So yeah, shout out with that quality parts, quality parts. So I'm tired. I don't want to hear no stuff because y'all be talking mess. Like, oh, eBay this, eBay that. Watch all these quality parts come in. Keep playing with your boy. Keep playing. He buys cheap eBay stuff. Yeah, because I didn't care. But I care about my turbo build. This is one thing I bought, though. It's a fuel regulator. I don't think I need this because I have it on the fuel rail. So, yeah. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. This is like a little cheap one I got off eBay. So I'm probably not going to use that anyway. Who knows? This might fail on me or something. You really, really, I don't really want that to happen on my builds. All right. So we better go ahead and do some boxing. Sorry about my lighting. I know usually I use um, my lights, but... I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's get straight to some boxing. So y'all, you know, just give y'all a quick update on what's to come for this build. So in this little box, little packaging right here, I've got my um, my valve seals. I'm actually gonna turn this camera around so you guys get better quality. Hold up. Okay, guys. So we have right here Skunk Two. You see it on the box, man. You see it, baby. You see the Skunk Two in the box? Authentic. Authentic. I don't know if y'all can read that. But yeah, it's cams, so I'm gonna open this. This will, I already opened this yesterday. I'm just gonna show you guys. Came with the book too. Cams right here. Well, one of the cams, the cam. It's an S2, you know it's real. It's engraved inside. So just in case you didn't know how to tell, the Skunk 2 is engraved inside. So I hope y'all can see this. We got cams, baby. Skunk 2, high quality parts, you already know. It makes no sense for me to open another one because it's gonna look the same. One's the intake, one is, one is exhaust. So, you know, we all know what cams look like. Oh yeah. So this is my tow hook. I mean, it's gonna look like the same as the other one that I just showed you guys earlier in the video. It's just a new one, because mine was painted and chipping and all kinds of nonsense. So we gotta stay fresh, baby, yeah. NRG. You already know how I'm rocking Neo Chrome as much as we can put on the car. That's my signature thing right there. So this box it comes with um, it's nice nicely packaged is all. I know a lot of people are like oh that fake energy. I don't understand how energy is fake, but you know, whatever. This part and this is just the stuff to just hold it. Comes with two of these uh bolts and nuts, and that's that. It's not nothing really too spectacular. Just a tow hook. Look at that box shine. So let's see what's in here. It's heavy. Ooh! What is that? What is that? Is that Sparko? It sounds like Sparko parts. Is that Sparko? Oh! Oh! eBay Fred for the win. eBay Fred. Yeah. Hate is going hate. Regardless. Boy, oh boy. This is my three inch wide Sparkle four point harness. Some people are gonna ask why did I get five? I'm not trying to crush my nuts for one. Two, it's illegal to put to use that in the street. So I got the four point, which I'm very com comfortable with. Sparkle right there. I don't know if you guys can read that, but it has sparkle right there. It has a serial number right there. Authentic parts. How do I look? Do I look good? Do I look like I'm better? Hold on, let me get another one. Let me stun on them one time, no. Let me stun on the haters one time. I don't know how I look. Do I look like the black Paul Walker? R.P. Paul. Hey, these is nice though. Just the quality of feeling this is way better than my little eBay ones that I have. If somebody asked me to make a video on how to actually put these in, I made a video before, but I actually make an update video on how to put these in, and yeah. So we'll do a video on how to put these Sparkle uh, four point harness on. So it's gonna be dope. It's the uh, middle part. This is where everything connects to. I never had one of these. Look at that. That's like, that's quality, bro. That is quality. Y'all can't even talk no mess about your boy. Somebody go find something to say. You should have got red or something. No, no, no. I went black. If you know I get the real parts, I got, I got, I got to show out. Yeah, boy. Talk your mess now, son. Talk your mess now. Cause now that I'm actually really building the dang Integra, like for real, for real. And cause when I was first started, y'all, I didn't care. I was doing the eBay build. I just wanted to have fun with it. I wanted to just buy a whole bunch of parts. 
put them on, have fun with it, learn about the car. Like, it was just something fun to do for me. But now I'm like really getting into a serious belt, so I'm about to get some serious parts. You know what I'm saying? And then what's somebody gonna say? But you got those crappy seats. You got those crappy eBay seats. Seats coming soon. Ho. Seats coming soon. Ho. Hey. Not sure what kind of seats I'm gonna get. I don't know if I'm gonna get sparkle seats to go with the seatbelts, or if I'm gonna get some brides, or if I'm gonna get some Recaros. I haven't decided yet. And it comes with the uh, booklet, of course, like every part. It comes with an instruction guide. Sparkle. Yes. eBay, what? Them damn seatbelts cost more than my damn seats. No bull. Those harness cost more than my seats that I got in my car right now, son. What the heck? Quality parts. It's getting real on JDM Swag. It's getting real. Put some respect on my name. Y'all been trying to play you, boy, man. I was telling y'all, I didn't care about buying parts in my car. And everybody tried to clown and talk mess. And... Yeah, don't do me all. You know what that is? That's all that bull that y'all was saying. I'm throwing it away. Piston rings. It's my Super Tech right here. And some people ask me why did I get Super Tech. And I'm gonna be honest and tell you the truth. I don't know a lot about building a car at all. Like, no lie. I have no idea about what pistons to get, what kind of rods to get, all that stuff. I don't know. I asked my tuner because my tuner got my car ready in one day after being at that shop for like two months. And then it was like running like crap. And they told me to get a Haltech. And I didn't need a Haltech and they had data. And everybody was telling me that. Yes, you guys are telling me that. Shout out to my old subscribers. And I didn't listen to y'all. And yeah. I should just listen to y'all, because I would have been running a long time ago. And they never, they didn't even wire up all my how tech stuff. My mat wasn't connected all. It was that's why I was running like crap. So when you see that video, maybe a lot of you guys seen that video, the one that has like a hundred and some thousand, hundred thirty thousand views. Views and it's like full of hate. <laughs> People are like, oh, your car run like crap. It sells bad. Like it's running three cylinders. Da, da, da. Cause it was, but it wasn't my fault. That was the dang shop that I went to, and they did me wrong. Live and learn. Red zone built all the time. Can't go wrong. Anyway, my man told me to get these pistons. He's building my car. I'm not gonna build my car. It'd be nice to build my car, but I want my car built right the first time, and I want to make sure I get the right parts, and I want to be going through no BS. So they put these parts in. And we put it on a dyno, and we want to be done with that thing for then until I want to make more power. The reason I got these parts is because he told me to get these parts. If you guys seen his car, which you will see in the Vlogme video, it was a green Integra. You, if you've seen the Vlogme video, it's the guy named Jeremy. It's the only other guy that was next to the guy that was recording, other than me. So, that's Jeremy. Uh, he knows what the hell he's doing. No BS. He tells you to get something, you get that mess. I'll tell him I'm trying to reach. My power goal is 400 horsepower. He told me what to get, I'm buying it, because that's what I'm trying to get. Goals, boy. So anyway, listen to your tuner, if you got a good tuner. A lot of the people were saying stuff on my uh, Instagram, but I mean, I listen to them. Everybody has their own preference. That's why I got so many parts, but I'm going to listen to my tuner because I trust my tuner. And here we go. Super Tech Pistons. And these are uh, 81 millimeter. And I know a lot of you guys are telling me, like, when I was doing my B20, well, when I was going to do my B20, you guys are telling me to get 84. And you guys are actually right. And the reason that my tuner told me 81 is because he wasn't sure which one I was doing. He thought I was doing the LS block. Because I talked to him about the LS and I talked to him about the B20. So when I referred it to him, he re he thought I was talking about the LS block, the B18 and not the B20. That's why he told me 81 millimeter, which we're actually going to do anyway. So regardless of the fact. And other parts that I did already buy, they're compatible with the B18. So no money wasted there. These are 81 millimeter pistons. 10, 1, 1. No, I'm not running stock rods. I know what these are. This box is heavy, y'all. It's going two parts. Woo, boy. Uh, so right here, we have to upgrade because my low control arms are, not my low control arms, my camber kit is crap. So I got a new camber kit and I got front and rear camber kit and the ones that I did get, I think I got the highest grade of them. Uh, 
in the packaging so oh we got another stunt two sticker over here boom two for each side of my freaking back window it's getting serious skunk two camper kit though i think this is the uh highest one you can get i believe that's the one i had got but yeah look at this is bro this is quality right here can't tell that enough this is not no well i got off ebay of course but it's not like it when people say ebay they say like non name brand cheap knockoffs and stuff ebay fred fuck with me skunk 2 boom i cannot i understand you guys the quality stuff and the ebay stuff i understand now you don't know until you put your hands on it and this stuff is like bro it is like it feels like quality to the touch like it doesn't even feel cheap look at that that is quality bro front and rear camera kit by the way in this case y'all wondering y'all know what this is and now we got the last box it's gonna be the last box for today because i don't have any more boxes in the mail but that's not the last package i get i still got a lot of stuff on the way you guys like i'll tell you this turbo build is better be the ish i'm gonna still have some ebay stuff in my car because i like the neo chrome look and not a lot of people sell that look like in higher grade stuff so some of the stuff i'm gonna keep ebay a lot of stuff i'm trying to upgrade so no, I know somebody gonna be like, you should get a Momo steering wheel. If Momo come out with some Neo Chrome on that steering wheel, then I'll get it. If not, hey, NRG for the win. But I do want the, the deep dish NRG though. I don't want like minus fly. I want to get the deep dish one. So that may be on the horizon. All right, last box. Here we go. What could it be? And you bet not fast forward. Here it is. Just kidding. That's just one thing out of the box. Another one of those bars. So. Alrighty. And here comes the last thing. Here comes the big thing in the box. I really don't want to unwrap this because I want to keep it like nice looking. I want to keep it inside the wrapping for purposes of I don't want to mess it up. But here it is. I don't know if this is going to all fit on screen. But this is what was in the box. This is my harness bar. A lot of you guys were like saying, why am I running harness and not a harness bar? And it's dangerous and stuff like that. Well, I finally got a harness bar. Oh, dang. A few moments later. I finally got a harness bar. It is NRG. It is NRG. You guys can read that. I don't know if I'm, I know it's kind of shiny. Some of you guys can read that. Energy harness bar. It's gonna go with the sparkles, and then when I get those seats eventually, boom. And I'm probably not gonna go with red seats. I'm probably gonna go with like some black ones, so it looks more better, you know. I want to like just it to blend. I don't know how long I'm also keep my uh, lug nut spikes. I might change those to just regular lugs, but still keep them neo chrome. Tone the rice down just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But we'll see. Maybe I might just have no folks giving when it comes to some of this stuff. I do a lot of this build for, uh, oh yeah, and then we have the fuel rail for that to mention that when I was saying all the stuff that we had before I opened that. But anyway, we got a lot of parts, you guys, a lot of parts. This is about to be a serious build, like, no joke, like, I'm coming for heads, horsepower. All the YouTubers that I'm competing with, I guess I'm probably competing with myself because I don't think nobody cares. <laughs> but I've got a lot of, uh... I've got a lot of hate on my YouTube and I used to have more subscribers than some people, which I really don't care about subscriber count, but then I do because I want to make content, but I want you get, I want people to watch it. I just want to make it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's really watching it. So took a different turn, stopped the eBay BS, going for a serious build. Hey, it is what it is. When I actually find a freaking track that I can race on when I get out of here, I'm going to be running on the track. So you guys don't actually see no track videos until I leave Hawaii, unfortunately. Because there's nowhere for me to track the car. There's no track out here. So I might just mess around places, you know, see what it can do. But yeah, the turbo build is coming along great. I want to finish building it in September and actually like get everything like assembled. But we're going to see because my tuner, he's actually going away in August. So I know when he gets back, you know, I'm not going to just throw my project on him because I'm pretty sure he, 
even if he's away from family or not, people want to, you know, come back and, you know, relax and stuff. I don't know if he's going to relax down there because he's still going to be in Hawaii, just another island. But, <laughs> you know, I'm going to give him time, you know, get himself settled back in before I be like, hey, my turbo bill, you know what I'm saying? Just out of respect. So, either September or October. And he said there's some other parts that I seem to get that not on my list, like a stage four clutch and some other stuff. Like a whole bunch of other stuff. We're going to make this a quality bill, you guys. Like, no BS. Does that look good? That, should, that, that thing look good on me, don't it? Mmm. eBay Fred. Taking heads. Uh, quality boy. I might as well just get the sparkle seats to go with this. Even, even if I have to get one seat for right now, like some of my other two, and just get, like, stack up and just get one seat, and then just wait till later and get the other seat, I'll do that because, for one, I don't really have people in my car. For two, I don't really care to drive people in my car. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And a lot of people told me to take the big-ass box out of my trunk. That ain't going nowhere because I like my subs. So, you know, middle finger to y'all. But if I'm doing some kind of stuff where I need weight reduction, best believe them back seats coming out and them subs coming out. But that's it. Ain't nothing else coming out. I ain't taking off the door panels. I ain't stripping out the back panels and, and getting gutted. That ain't happening. I, I don't do gutted cars. That's just not me. Like, my car is not strictly a race car. Or I'm not trying to get people that interpretation of, oh, his car is like gutted. Duh, duh, duh. I'm not really doing nothing right now, so it doesn't matter. If I was to take my car to the track, then yeah, I'll probably take my panels off in the back and stuff like that. Because I can always put them back on, but I'll take as much weight out the car as I can while I go to the track. But until then, I'm sticking with full interior. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this video, man. I know it's probably a little lengthy, but I just had to show you guys all the parts I got. Real excited for this build. I hope you guys are too. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel. We're getting quality parts here. We're doing a quality build. We got a dope tuner. Shout out to Jimmy Red Zone. Shout out to my boy Randall for uh, hooking it up, man. Because, yeah, I really didn't want a stock fuel line. I mean, I don't know if it mattered or not that I had a, a stock fuel line. Because I some forms say it can hold up to the power gains that I want. But I want myself to look pretty. You feel me? I'm trying to get a uh, Skunk 2 Ultra intake manifold as well. I think the throttle body that I need is 74 millimeter. I think that's what my tuner said. I got to double check, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, I know it's not 70. It's higher than 70. So we're trying to make some power here. But we're trying to get her pretty. Look at that. Quality parts. So until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell next to the subscription button. So anytime I drop a video, you guys be alerted. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Make sure you follow my social network. Instagram, jdm.swag. Snapchat is hey, I'm Durf. All of it will be in the link down below. And make sure you follow my photography page where I do film and photography. And that's going to be on my description as well. Forever Photography. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Salute.